Okay, so I'm looking to solve some physics problems. What better place than Reddit? Here is the Reddit uh, subreddit physics homework. And I really haven't looked at these questions, uh, so I'm just going to, if there's one that I don't think is good, I'm not going to answer it. Uh, but I'll do one. I'll do a couple of these, and let's just see how it goes. So here, let's look at this first one. Uh, college, rotational motion. I'm just going to solve it if I can. Okay, so I'm going to read it to you. So we have this disc, and there's a force uh, pushing on it. Consider the horizontal homogeneous disc with a mass of one kilogram rotating around an axis perpendicular through its center, so normal rotating disc. At all times, the tangential force to the edge of the disc, F, has a magnitude of one newton, but of course changes direction. It's applied at the red point. Uh, under these conditions, the angular position of the red point is described by the equation theta. Um, so what's the radius of the disc? Okay, so let's jump over here to the paper. Paper. Okay, so let's start off. Uh, I'm just going to draw the disc. It always helps to draw things, I think. Uh, it helps you think about stuff. So I know that I have a disc right there. It's rotating. Um, I know I have this angle theta. I have this force F. Uh, I know the mass is one kilogram. And then I know theta as a function of time is equal to 0 0.2 plus 3t plus t squared. And I want to find the radius. So what kind of problem do we have here? I mean, I would think this would be a torque angular momentum problem. So the, the angular momentum principle says that the net torque on an object um, technically would be like this is dl dt, where l is the angular momentum. Now, I can write the angular momentum l, the magnitude. Oh, I can write it like this, i omega. So that's the moment of inertia, the rotational mass, so which depends on the mass and the shape, and the omega is the angular velocity vector. So if this thing is rotating this way, which it doesn't actually say which way it's rotating. Well, I guess it kind of does. Then the angle, we could find the direction the angular velocity is in the right-hand rule. Now, you don't actually have to do this. This is a one-dimensional problem. It's a fixed angular uh, axis of rotation. So you could just say it's torque and just call it, say the torque's positive, it doesn't really matter. So if I put that in over here, I get this. Uh, let's talk about the z component of torque, right? Because it, it's only in the z direction. Uh, torque is going to be is equal to r cross f. Actually, I should write this out. Uh, so in this case, r and f are perpendicular. So the magnitude of the torque is going to be r times f. And it's going to be in the z direction. So I can write this whole net torque thing as uh, in the x in the z direction as r f is d i omega d t. Now the moment of inertia does not change, so I can pull that out and I get i d omega d t. And this remember that omega is d theta d t. So this is going to be equal to i the second derivative of theta. That's a theta with respect to t. Okay, so I know f. I know r. I can find i. i for a disk is 1 half m r squared. I mean, you can derive that and actually have a derivation of that. Um, normally, you would look that up in a table. So I'm going to assume that's what you do. Just look that up in a table. So that has r in it. There's r there. I know f. And I know theta is a function of time, so I actually, actually, I actually can take this derivative. So let's say the first derivative of theta with respect to time is going to be equal to up here. I just take the derivative, right? So the derivative of 0.2 is 0. This is 3 plus 2t. 3 plus 2t. Now I can take the derivative again, the second derivative of theta with respect to time. That The derivative of 3 is 0, and this is 2. So Oh, this t squared. Uh, so I know that. I know that. I know that. I can solve for f. I mean r. So let's put it all together. Um, so I have r times f. That's the torque. And that's going to be i, which is 1 half m 
r squared times alpha, where alpha is the derivative of the angular velocity, which I know, I just found that's two. And I wanna solve for r, but the first thing I'm gonna do is cancel this. And then, so I'll say r is two f over m alpha. So now we can put in our values, two times the force was one, uh, the mass was one, and this was two. I thought it worked out nice. Um, I assume the angle, the equation was in, where t is given in seconds is stated is given in radians. Okay, good. So the two, so I get one. One meter, the end. That's kind of a boring question, but I don't know, wasn't too bad. Okay, I'll look at another one. I'll do a couple of these until I get bored but it'll be another video. I'll put, I'll make a new playlist. It'll be called Reddit physics problems.